Alrighty, back to the heat pump, Bryant HVAC, case study diagnosis and repair. About a week later, I finally got the right parts. So instead of two relays, they sent me ten of these guys. The uh, 24 volt DC, 250 AC, 5-pin relays, which we need to put back on this board. So there's the burnt trace, we're going to fix that and put in a new relay so the system works as designed. Uh, for now, for the last week, I've just had the fan and the crankcase heater hardwired and they've been running 24-7. No issues, we, uh, the heat pump works fine, the, uh, there's no trouble code set, so you know that's kind of a quick and dirty get your heat up and running while you fix this problem. Uh, however, let's fix it right, put the board back on, make sure everything works 100%. So first thing, let's place the relay on the board right into the original solder holes and so it doesn't escape on me, I'm just going to bend the pins slightly so it stays in place. There we go. Let's fire up the soldering iron. Again. Butane will work just fine for this. And the last step will be to fix that trace, this guy right here. So what we're going to do is solder a wire from there to there and just kind of, you know, obviously we're not going to make a trace on the board. So that shouldn't be a big deal. Wait for the soldering iron to heat up and we'll go to town. All right, let's go for it. Ah. Make sure the solder flows onto the trace. Looks good. Beautiful, that one is excellent. And that guy, we can still solder him in. But then we'll solder the wire on top of that. Okay, two more over here. I like it. All right, happy with that. Now, here's our little bypass wire. I'm gonna go from there to there. Should be pretty easy. So, first I'm going to get a little extra solder on this pin. Make sure it fuses with the old solder. There we go. Now,
That is solid. The wires are coated with solder. Perfect. Now I'm just going to bring this over here. I can pre put some solder on the wire and then solder the wire to our relay terminal. Make sure it flows and that's it. So the relay board in my opinion is fixed. That's it. So we have to put it back on the unit, turn on the power, fire it up, make sure we don't have any trouble codes, should be good to go. Alright, turn the breaker back on, push the heat, it's trying to heat to 67, it's 65 currently, let's go outside and see if everything's working properly. I swear, every time I come out here it's like raining, snowing, well, there it is, the fan is spinning, the compressor is running, everything is happy. We're on low stage right now, that's a single flash. That's it, this thing is 100% fixed. I'm happy. We got heat, everything works. I hope you learned something new. I know it wasn't a car, but the thought process I think was very similar in terms of troubleshooting, visual inspection, uh, the whole process, ordering parts, so grand total for the repair, the only part we really needed was that relay. And apparently you can get 10 relays for like 50 bucks, so $5 repair. Now imagine calling an HVAC service company to come here and fix this thing. Where do you think that would have gone? They probably would have quoted a new board, $700 in parts, plus labor, plus the call. So a grand easy. They would have installed the board, they probably would have, you know, burnt the new board out and the new relay, so you would have been back where you started. So it could have been, you know, several thousands of dollars by the time they found the short. And then, would they fix the wires for the crankcase heater? Maybe. Or they would tell you, oh, you got to buy a new compressor because we can't uh, solder wires. So, yeah, I'm just very grateful for you know, to have some of this equipment here to actually do the diagnosis and uh, I can't thank everyone out there enough for all the training. I mean this is basically DIY, go on YouTube, learn about this, go to training, uh, obviously going to school helps, uh, you know, electrical theory, but everything is there. All the information is there. All you need to have is the motivation and you know obviously be careful what you're doing but there's no limit to what you can accomplish so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time stay warm bye bye